So he had to put that pole in. <laughs> so they did that. And then their electrician brought it to here because I was out here when the first day that we were talking to him about this. And this is where everything. Now, we don't actually connect into this, correct? Right, yeah, we don't have to. We uh, are connected inside on the inside panel. Okay. And what is this one called? This is just their out. Yeah, are so they going to have, have a, a net meter here yeah, so or you not? Have, you have your, uh, your utility service meter there in the middle. Right. Uh, for everyone not with solar, it's only going to spin in one direction. Right. Uh, you have your main disconnect with the building, so it would be that uh, main panel there to the left. Uh, yeah, there on the left side. Uh, you have another panel there on the right. I'm assuming maybe he's going to have a shop. Okay. Uh, that shop, um, you know, they'll have two different points of service. Got it. Uh, there, I think so. From there, uh, those feeder wires go underground and go inside of the building. Um, they still have to run them, actually. Uh, they're on the left side. And when they do, they're going to go through. And normally, they would hit a... Uh, an inside panel on the inside of the house. Uh -huh. uh, You're free. Yeah, go, go ahead. Thank you. Um, and then from there, what we're going to do is uh, those those uh, conductors are going to go inside uh, the customer's smart switch. So Bartlett will come out here and switch that out. That uh, switch the meter out. Switch the meter out for a net meter yep. before we go live. Yep. Okay. Yeah, and it still says zeros. So, all right. All right. So what's going on up there, Cliff? They are installing Mission 345. What's that mean? 345s in English for people that don't speak yeah. uh, solar. So each uh, solar panel has a, a maximum potential. Uh, we know that it's kilowatt hours. Right. Uh, but uh, electricity and power and energy kind of all in the layman's terms mean the same thing. But you know they, they work together. So uh, maximum kilowatts uh, is what each solar panel. Got it. Uh, so each panel up there um, has a, a maximum a power point of 345 watts. Okay. I believe we have 35. And they get wired together? Is it in series? Is it in parallel? I know there's two different types of yeah, so systems. So Which one's this one doing? The majority of them are all wired up in, in series. Okay. Uh, except for what's really special about uh, this project is they uh, have some of the first here in Central Texas, the uh, in phase IQ8 plus micro motors. Uh, so, what that in layman terms means when the grid loses power during sunlight, the homeowner will still have energy for the home. You know, that's a, a myth, or a, I run into it all the time that people say, oh, well, I want solar so that when the grid goes down, I'm okay. Why is that not true? Because I talked to a, a gentleman yesterday, he called our office, and he said, yeah, some kid knocked on my door, and he gave me a quote for this and this, and I said, okay, did it come with batteries? He said, no. And I said, well, what did he tell you it's gonna do? And he said, oh, he said, I'll have, uh, even if there's no rain, if, even if it's rainy and snowy for five days, I'll still have electricity for my solar panels. And I said, not if you don't have a battery, and five days is a long time to go without energy. So what is it that, that has us even though the panels are up there and they're still producing electricity, obviously, why won't the house have electricity? Can you explain that? So uh, imagine a neighborhood loses power from a storm, mm -hmm. and you're Johnny the electrician, and you go out there to work on the electric mm -hmm. And you don't know that the house next to you has solar panels and it's producing power, and those wires are energized, and when you touch them, what happens? They're still alive. They're still alive. You get a nice wake up call. <laughs> <laughs> National, Electric, National Electric Code requires that solar systems without battery, without some type of isolation device to uh, isolate and to uh, stop production and to turn off during a grid out. That's for the electrician's uh, safety. In other words, where we were just at over yep. there looking at their electrical, if they can't shut it off there, or if it, if it can go past there, then... Um, it's not safe because it could hit a lineman out there working. Okay. So basically the house has to become an island into itself. Correct. And uh, so with this system, with the uh, IQ8 microinverters, uh, the uh, smart switch the that's been installed inside uh, will detect that the grid is down. It'll open up the its, uh, internal relay, which isolates the house from the grid and then uh, provide power to the house. Got it.
And if they're overproducing at that point, since they're turned off to the grid, it either dissipates up on the roof or goes into their battery. Yep. So it's either used or lose. And if you have a battery, you'll charge them up. And if those are 100%, uh, yeah, it's just, you know, we, we have energy that's in our uh, electric lines today that we don't use, uh, you know, from the grid. And you know, it's just it's just kind of there. It's available if you need it, but it's, you it's, know, not there. it's just Okay. So out here on the outside of the house, what are we putting in? Well, it's a DC disconnect, so uh, the power from the roof basically hits that uh, switch first uh, during a kind of emergency scenario. Is that it down there uh, or this a, one up here? one up top. Okay, yeah. so we put that in today. Yep. Okay. And uh, you come out, turn that off, and then that shuts the power off up on the roof. Got it. So that's, even though there's a smart switch inside that would do it and sense it, mm -hmm. this is in an emergency, they emergency. can come and turn it off anyhow. Yeah. Okay. So what are you doing here, Cliff? We're pulling the uh, home run from the roof into the, uh, uh, the smart switch. Uh, 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 the combiner right. panel. Yeah. So we got. Oh, 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 oh. Not that one. This one. So what's the job of the combiner panel? Well, we got. So we got four strings. We got three. Oh, this is the panels. extra. We're bringing an extra, so if they need more panels later on, we can put more. Yeah. So we got three strings, uh, three strings of panels up on the roof, 35 panels. Uh -huh. So we got strings of 12, 12, and 11. And then we're pulling a fourth string through for the potential addition of 10 panels in the future. Since they're not in this home right now, they don't know how much electricity, so it's just been a guess as to how That's much correct. electricity they'd use. So, so we added the potential. So if we have to come here and add 10 more panels later, yep. it's going to be quite a bit easier. Uh, so the four strings are coming down, and they're hitting this combiner panel here, which takes all of our circuits and uh, combines them into one circuit so that we can move it into uh, the AC disconnect, which is the shutoff of the system, and the smart switch, which is the brains of the operation. Got it. So it has to have a shutoff switch outside that the electricity company can get to. All right, so what is this you're working on? Uh, this is the smart switch. And what does the smart switch do? It basically uh, detects the flow of current. It basically has, it acts like the brain of the operations. Okay. So basically, whenever your panels are, you know, producing and you're using more of the house, then it'll tell the battery when to kick in, when to shut off, and when to send, pan, uh, when to send the PV. Use the PV panels to shoot to the house and when to shoot to the grid. Um, you can also use it for a generator. You can have a generator uh, breaker here, uh -huh. and it can also, you know, tell the generator when to kick on and whatnot, and work with the. the so solar it works system. with the PV. It works with a battery, and it also works with a generator. Yes, sir. That's cool. 